This is the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 4. But in all things, approving ourselves as the ministers of the Heavenly Father in much patience, in afflictions, in necessities, in distresses, in stripes, in imprisonments, in tumults, in labors, in watchings, in fastings. All praises, all power, all glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahashai, Bashem Rakaha Kordash. Yahweh being the name of the Father, who the world inwardly really calls God, Yahweh, meaning He exists in the Pale of Hebrew. Bahashem, meaning in the name, Yahweh Shai, who the world everybody calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai, meaning he delivers, he saves in the Pele Hebrew. Bahashem in the name, Rakaha Kwadash, Spirit Holy, Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Most Stone, who teach well and rule well, who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akyam the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives through the four corners of the earth. To the awkward listening, listening and learning, in sincerity and in truth, and in silence, Shalom. This is your brother Shema from the Pillars of Benjamin Camp, here in Toronto with another lesson, but we'll get right into it. 2 Corinthians 6, verse 4, but in all things, approving ourselves as the ministers of the Heavenly Father, right, in all things, right, whatever life throws at you, right, approving ourselves with this word approval. In the Hebrew, in the, in the Greek, Salaki, in the Greek, approving. Strong G forty nine twenty one, Sunistemi, Sunistemi. To place together, to sit, to stand, to show, prove, establish, exhibit, right? Approving ourselves to show, prove, establish, exhibit, the root word. It's Stamey. Strong's G, 2476. His Stamey. His Stamey. To cause or make to stand. To place, put, set. To bid, to stand by. To stand by. To make firm. Right? Fix, establish. To cause a person or a thing to keep his or its place. To stand, be kept intact, to establish a thing, cause it to stand, right? You get the point. Approving ourselves in all things, right? Standing firm in all things, no matter what life throws at us, right? But in all things, approving ourselves as the ministers of the Most High, in much patience, in afflictions, in necessities, Salakia. Salak. Salakia. In necessities, in distresses, right? So we're going to catch hell out here, man. We're going to catch afflictions, right? We're going to get distressed. We're going to get stressed the hell out. We're going to be put in place in, in positions of difficulty. In stripes and imprisonments, in tumults and labors, in watchings and fastings, by pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Spirit, by love unfeigned. Right, you got to be sincere in this thing. By the word of truth, by the power of the Most High, by the armor of the righteousness on the right hand and on the left. By honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report, right? Things are going to be said about you, man. As deceivers and yet true, 
as unknown and yet well known as dying and behold, we live as chastened and not killed, right? Because we know the chastening of the Lord. It's because the Lord loves us, man. Right? As chastened and not killed, right? As long as we're, as long as we're, we're, we're alive on this earth, we got to continue on in this thing. Do the work. As sorrowful, yet always rejoicing, right? Even when you're down and out, always rejoicing, man. What's the, what's the saying in the world? The poker face. A million things could be going on behind the scenes. Catching hell. Going through it. But you, but you yet, yet always rejoicing. The energy you put out there. It's all praise and power to Yahweh Shemel Shai. Right? No matter what's going on. As poor yet making many rich. Right? As poor yet making many rich. And how you're making many, how you're making people how you're making many rich. Right? This well, first of all, this word is only for the elect. So how are you making how are you making the potential elect rich? By pushing this truth, this word going out. As having nothing and yet possessing and yet possessing all things, right? As having nothing and yet possessing all things. No matter what goes on in the world, man, and you're walking this thing, right? You got to push. Right? You can't take your hand off the plow. Ecclesiastic is also known as Sirach. 30 verse 21. And this is speaking to myself first and foremost. Give not over thy mind to heaviness. Right? Can't let these things. Got to keep single item focus. Keep our mind on the Mosai al No matter how heavy it gets out here. No matter how how depressed you may feel. You know, you got to fight that woe is me spirit. And afflict not thyself in thine own counsel, right? You know, because in your mind, your mind, the murmuring, right? Too much murmuring, you'll afflict yourself in your own counsel. Right? Got to stay occupied on the Lord. Philippians. Philippians 4. Philippians 4. Verse 6. And it reads, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, right? So every, every, when you pray, Always with thanksgiving, man. Right? It says here, be careful for nothing, right? Don't worry about it. But in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto the Heavenly Father. Right? You make your request be known to the, to the Most High Power, Yahweh Shemel Shai. The Lord's Goddess, man. Right? The Lord's Goddess. And He'll continue to deliver, he will continue to deliver us over and over. Right, brothers got testimonies of being delivered. First Thessalonians 4, Salakia. First Thessalonians 5, verse 18. In everything give thanks. Right? No matter what's going on, you give thanks. Why? For this is the will of the Most High in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, concerning you. Right? So whatever is happening to you is the will of the Lord. You catch in hell is the will of the Lord. You taking L's is the is the will of the Lord, right? So knowing this that it's the will of the Lord, we just gotta stay. Sing we know we know it's, it's it's for a moment, right? And it's going to pass. The scriptures say so. Second Corinthians four, verse seventeen, and it reads, "For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, right." Whatever is happening to us, right? The Akim, the Aqua, the few, the few believing sisters, whatever is happening to us, it's a light affliction, which is but for a moment, only a moment, it will pass. Worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory, right? What is to come, right? Is big, is, 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 is bigger. 
verse 18, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, right? Everything here, the fashion of this world won't pass, man. All that we see here is temporal. But the things which are not seen are eternal, right? The kingdom, right? Psalms 118. Psalms 118. Verse 18. And it reads, The Lord Yahweh hath chastened me sore. Let's read that again. The Lord Yahweh hath chastened me sore, but he hath not given me over unto death. Right? So even when if even when that woe is me is heavy, the Lord is the Lord's chastening us for, for, for a moment. But he's not delivering us over unto death. Right? This was a prayer of King David. Right? Let's read that again. Psalms 118 verse 18. The Lord Yahweh hath chastened me sore, but he hath not given me over unto death. Right? We know these afflictions that we go through, the hell we catch, is but for a moment. It's to purge us, it's to refine us. All right, let's get that in Isaiah 48, verse 10. And it reads, Behold, I have refined thee. All right, we're looking at this word refined. Let's look at this word refined. All right, the Lord says, Behold, I have refined thee, who is elect, Lord willing, word of that number. Behold, I have refined thee. This word refined. Sarap. In the Hebrew. Saraf. Strong's H, 6884. Saraf. Saraf. Right. To smelt, refine. Test. To test. Right. To test the Lord. The, 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 everything we go through is the Lord testing us. Right. Behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. Right? The furnace of affliction, man. Affliction, the hell we catch. We're being tested. We're being refined. We're being purified. Right? The Lord is preparing us for the times to come. Let's get that. In, uh, I think it's 1 Corinthians 11. On. First Corinthians 11 verse 32 But when we are judged We are chastened of the Lord That we should not be condemned With the world Right Most eyes put We catch hell To refine us To test us To purify us That way we're not Condemned With the world out here The, the, the hell that is about to be caught the, the hell That is about to come on this place out here Right The Lord is spiritual The, the Lord is Refining us And removing us from that judgment, man. That judgment that's coming on the whole world. Lord willing, we're of that number, man. Right? We're not trying to get judged out here with the heathens. With two-thirds of our people. Proverbs 24, verse 10. And we'll close. If thou faint in the day of adversity. Right? So we can't faint. Once we know that we're going through, through these things for a reason. for a reason, And it's the Lord putting this on us. And it's the Lord refining us and test us, testing us. Right, we can't faint because we know the end game. We know this is the Lord's will. Right? If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. Right? We can't have that. We can't have that. There's no room for faint. We can't faint. Right? If you faint, your strength is small. Scripture, we just read it. Stay prayed up, pray without ceasing. Pray edified. Shalom. To the hopeful elect.